Monday Morning House Calls, sponsored by Appalachian Regional Healthcare. Welcome back inside Mountain News this morning. Today we're being joined by Shonda Combs. She's a registered nurse at Hazard ARH, where you're also the stroke coordinator. And that's actually what we're talking about today is stroke and how to prevent it and things that you can recognize if you or some loved one might be having a stroke. So first of all, thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And can you, first of all, we've, well, most of us have already heard of stroke, but a lot of us don't know exactly what it is. So can you explain to us what a stroke is? Well, a stroke is actually an interruption of blood flow to the brain. It could be uh, from a, a, an artery that has ruptured or an actual blockage that has, it's any, anything that causes an eruption to blood flow to the brain. Okay, and there's a lot of statistics about this. It's the number one leading cause of disability. It's the third le leading cause of death. So this is something that a lot of people have to deal with. Now, there's something when dealing with strokes, there's three R's to remember. Can you kind of go, go over those? Well, the three R's are things to remember that uh, will keep you from being a statistic, which is recognizing symptoms, reducing factors, and then responding, uh, getting some response to you immediately. If you have these symptoms, too, uh, make sure that you call 911 and get some help to you. And you mentioned recognizing the symptoms. What are those, or what are some of those signs of a stroke? Um, some signs of a stroke are if you, if you have a sudden um, uh, dizziness, um, confusion, uh, if you're having trouble speaking, uh, you can't get your words out, that kind of thing, and it's sudden, of course. Um, a he very severe headache. Most patients describe a headache that is the, the worst headache they've ever had in their life. Um, th th that kind of thing, especially if you're having weakness on one side of the body or another. Uh, those are, can be some very common symptoms um, that, that would, you know, show in the, you that you may be having a stroke. And, and if you do think that you're having one or someone, a loved one is having one, what should you do? Well, there's a little acronym that we use. It's FAST, and that can help you keep, you know, because during that time you're going to be sort of frantic. Is this really happening? What's going on? And you're there with the loved one who may be exhibiting this, these symptoms. Uh, FAST, it's facial, um, the, the acronym. So F is for face, facial. Are you having some facial palsies? Ask the, ask the person to smile, your loved one, whoever you're with. Even children can remember FAST. So um, um, have them smile, see if there's a droop in the face. Um, and A is for arm, and that's like looking at the limbs to see if there's a weakness. You can have, actually ask them to hold up their arms and see if there's a droop on one side or the other. And then uh, S is, is, um, is speech. And with speech, you know, are they able to talk? Ask them to say a simple phrase. Um, we use one in the hospital, which is you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Uh, any simple phrase. And ask them if they can repeat that. And you can see if their speech is slurred, if they can actually even repeat the, the sentence at all. And then T is for time. You need to know, families really need to know, when was your loved one's last known well? When were they okay last? Because that time is a very, very important factor in treatment of the patient. Once they get to, you know, it's emergency care. And you mentioned treatment. What, how, how do you treat a stroke? Well, um, treatment varies. It, it, there's so many factors involved. Um, Age-related, um, chronic illness, lots of things are involved in it. Uh, depends on what kind of stroke you're having. There's many, there's different types of stroke, whether it's actually, like I said, a rupture in the artery or actually a clot. Um, there's uh, procedures and medications and, and emergency treatment that you can get, but everything is so variable and it depends on the patient's history. And if they, the most important factor in all of that is getting emergency treatment in time. Time is your major, major factor in that you've got to get to the hospital as fast as you can if you're exhibiting any of those symptoms. Um, just, just so that you can get that treatment. A lot of the treatments are time factor related. You have to get there in a certain amount of time to receive certain treatments. Okay, well, Shonda, thank you so much for joining oh, us. Oh, you're this welcome. Morning. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Chef Walter is next.